But 12% of Americans are just dumb enough to believe that that's exactly what happened with the U.S. government taking down the World Trade Center, at least number seven. Saddam Hussein has gone to elaborate lengths, spent enormous sums, taken great risks to build and keep weapons of mass destruction. Saddam Hussein is determined to get his hands on a nuclear bomb. Nuclear weapon. Nuclear weapon. Nuclear weapon. Active chemical munitions bunkers, mobile production facilities. We know he's got chemical weapons. He's got them. He's got them. He's got them. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> Nope, no weapons over there. <laughs> Maybe under here. <laughs> Seems to be information about Iran perhaps trying to uh, develop a nuclear warhead for a missile. This is according to the IAEA, saying Iran may currently be working on secretly developing a nuclear warhead. Uh, Mr. Ortega, after being uh, visited by an embassy of the United States on several occasions, refused to hold free elections. We decided at that point uh, the refusal was unacceptable. We then sent uh, an OSG member to him. That OSG member explained to Mr. Ortega that you have two weeks to announce free elections. If you don't in two weeks, we gave him the name of the man who was a very good friend of his and a second cousin that would be terminated, regardless of what you put around him. And we challenged him at that time. Put a battalion of your best soldiers around that man. He's still gonna die if you don't hold free elections. Two weeks later, his cousin died by missile fire. This is an example of a document which required the termination of a target for the OSGs. It was signed in 1991 by, by, by then-President George Bush. I'll read this to you so that you understand what it says. It was an activation order activating myself, DG Chip Tatum, codenamed Pegasus. You are hereby ordered into service of the United States government. It has been determined that, and then the name of the target is blacked out, and his nationality is blacked out has illegally obtained documents which are a vital concern to the security of the United States and selected allies of the United States. It has therefore been determined by finding of the National Security Council that these documents must be recovered. Due to this determination, you are authorized to use whatever means necessary to recover said documents and ensure that this criminal is brought to justice. You are authorized to exceed ex existing regulations and FTMs to accomplish this mission. If loss of life, life occurs as a result of the performance of your duties, you shall be exempt and protected from prosecution. I think that the American people need to know the level uh, of what they're dealing with. I think they need to know uh, exactly what to expect. This termination order, uh, because it involved a foreign national, I accepted. Uh, if it were for an American national, I would not accept, but there are those in the OSGs that would accept that. And let me explain to you why. Uh, OSG members aren't necessarily United States government personnel. We had intelligence officers from Danish intelligence, Turkish intelligence, the Mossad, uh, British intelligence, and other countries. Uh, for $25,000 to $50,000 permission, you can bet that they'll terminate or they'll neutralize whoever they're ordered to do. The Obama administration's acknowledged its continuing a Bush-era policy authorizing the killing of U.S. citizens abroad. The Obama administration is being accused of giving Interpol agents more immunity and protection from oversight than America's own law enforcement officers have. Critics charge the president is elevating the international crime-fighting agency's officers above the Constitution and putting them beyond the reach of U.S. law. 
and the charge revolves around this executive order, signed quietly just before the Christmas holiday. No, I'm not planning to commit suicide. I'm planning to go into court on April 7th if indeed we do have the trial, and I plan on defending myself vigorously, and I plan on exposing the government uh, in ways that, uh, you know, I do not think they want me to expose them. I want them to explain to me in open court why they came after me. Upon entering the shed located on the west side of the residence, Blanche Palfrey discovered her daughter, Deborah, had apparently hung herself using a nylon rope from a metal beam on the ceiling of the shed. She then called 911. So, so why are we here tonight? Tonight's a drill, um, a coordinated drill with the multi-police departments at Fraser Heights. Um, what we're doing tonight is actually practicing like unfortunately some days we may have to play uh, but it's going to be an active shooter drill where tell, tell us uh, who you're partnering with here tonight M Montgomery County Police Department um, the uh, Department of Homeland Security the Viper teams TSA FTA yeah well Kieran I think the most important thing is uh, the two Pentagon police officers who were shot they're out of the hospital they're recovering the suspect Medell the shooter is dead but we're really just scratching the surface of exactly finding out how and why this happened. Uh, as to uh, his feelings about the government, uh, we've obtained some audio tapes that we believe are from Bedell's from a website in which he rails against the government, the government control of money, the government control of schools, and uh, the, the government's hand in certain things like uh, the September 11th attacks. To Mark Williams, organizer uh, of the Tea Party Express, which is planning a nationwide bus tour culminating in Washington, D.C. on tax day. Uh, Mark, how do you draw the bright line between the very admirable and understandable principles that are advocated by so many in the Tea Party as it pertains to a constitutional definition of the democracy, separation of things like banking and investing, churches, I mean, go to all these things, and those who would choose a more radicalized view or a racist view and hide, if you will, inside of the Tea Party umbrella. Well, that's real simple. There's wing nuts and there's normal people. Uh, well, well, it's, it's not it's that not, simple because, not because, because when wing nuts go to other political organizations and say, I want to kill black well, people, I want to kill uh, Jews, whatever it may be, the organizer, for instance, if I was holding a Dylan Radigan event and a bunch of people held up saying, saying they wanted to kill blacks and Jews, I would say, would you kindly remove yourself? I don't accept people who follow me who are Ill into killing blacks and Jews and women or whatever it may be. What confuses me about the Tea Party is the Tea Party's willingness to accept the women nuts as you put it without shaming them or defining more crisply what the Tea Party's agenda is relative to those who just want to kill uh, black people for instance so that's our fault that they're nuts no, no, it's, not your, it's, a, it's uh, your fault to you, you, that you, you haven't got, shamed them mark it is your no, fault that the, that that the Democrats or the Republicans that, yes. or any other political uh -huh. group so you're saying you accept racists and Nazis well, eventually mark, is that I'll what answer you're saying? A question uh, Do you accept start racist with and Nazis one. on the Tea Party? The, uh, here in Sacramento, uh, at the Do NBC, you, Mark, I'm asking you a affiliate. question, my man. I, I didn't have you want to have a conversation a with me, or did you just want to come on my TV show and to, do a commercial I'm for yourself? Making, I'm, 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 an, I'm answering the question. Uh, we have a woman here on a local NBC affiliate who, after an anti-Semitic rant at Sac State, was promoted from reporter to anchor. Does that make NBC, Mark, does that hey, make hey, you Mark, an anti-Semitic organization? Hey, Mark, do I run NBC? Are you a guest on my show? No, we don't embrace racism. Let me ask you a question, and you, and you, we well, don't Because I don't want to continue racism. with this. You're wasting valuable no, no. oxygen. Can we please cut off this man's microphone? He has no interest in answering my questions. Mark, a pleasure. Okay, Actually, not really a pleasure. It was offensive. Uh, you're offensive. Your treatment of my show as a vehicle to spread your propaganda, ignore my questions, offensive, and an indication of what is wrong with the dialogue in this country, period. Um, not, not to mention a group that would accept Nazis and racists. Because in the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its maximum hour of danger. You are that generation. This is your role. Now is that time. Freedom must be defended from every assailant in every corner of this country, from outside the country, from inside the country, and especially from the government that wants to take it away from us. But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it.